channel for my Valentine's Day makeup special and outfit special. Yes. This is not the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing, so don't worry. My background's super fun today, isn't it? It's just cement. I'm like a ray of sunshine with my super bright, fancy makeup today and my little headband. This is as girly as I'm ever gonna get, so drink it all in right now. This is all you're getting. Love it or leave it, I'm not sure. Usually leave it, because it's too, it's, it's, too, it's too much of a pain in the ass. But today I did it for you guys, so <laughs> enjoy. Um, I'm also going to be showing, showing you, showing you two different, that's four, two different lip options. This is one that I'm going to be uh, showing you how to recreate. It is a more kissable lip if you're going to be going out with your boyfriend or girlfriend and you plan on doing a lot of smooching. The other lip is a very fun, very awesome, bright and poppy lip. That is going to be a lip for you if you are not planning on kissing anyone at all and you just want to look freaking fabulous. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how to achieve this look. I'm going to be putting on my Eraclea Ever Moist Lip Balm here. This is so that my lips aren't super crusty and disgusting when I go to put on my lipstick. Happens to me a lot. And now I'm going to moisturize my face. I'm using my Eraclea Neck and Chest Moisturizer. I know it's for your neck and chest, but guess what? It works great, so I'm going to use it on my face too. Mm. Now I'm using my Pleur Face Primer. This is going to go all over my face. I'm using about a dime-sized amount and rubbing it absolutely everywhere. This is going to go under my eyes and on top of my eyelids as well. I'm taking my NC25 Studio Fix Concealer by MAC and covering any areas that I feel like need a little extra love. You know how uh, that time of the month goes, so this is going to take me a minute. I'll be right back. Going in with my NC25 Studio Fix Fluid Foundation by MAC with my Beauty Blender and just going over my entire face. Now I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which I absolutely love and I'm doing under my eyes and my eyelids and pretty much going to highlight with this color. I wish it was a little bit lighter and I could really, really get some highlighting done here, but I'm just adding it in the places that I feel like I need it. And this is my new favorite concealer, honestly. Um, NARS is cruelty-free. They do not test on animals. MAC does. So I am switching completely over this as soon as all my MAC crap is gone. But I absolutely love this. Look at this. It like literally covers up everything. Laura Mercier Brightening Powder Time. If you've watched my foundation routine, you have seen this before. This really just sets your foundation, your concealer, everything, and it prevents all that stuff from settling in your fine lines and wrinkles. This stuff is awesome. So I pretty much put this under my eyes, on my eyelids, and definitely in my smile lines too because my makeup really likes to settle there, unfortunately. This is just my pressed powder, Studio Fix Pressed Powder by MAC, and I'm just going to put this all over my face. Ooh, there's some hair on there. Yummy. I'm going through this little phase right now where I like to darken the sparkle on my face, so don't mind me. I'm using some random mauve color by MAC. I will put it in the description box. I don't have it in front of me, so I don't remember what it's called. This brush is just some random brush from Crown Brushes, which is pretty much what all my brushes are because I'm cheap. Getting super fancy over here brushing out the couple eyebrow hairs that I have so I can actually put some eyebrows on my face. Let's do this. I am going in with my angled brush and using Urban from the Urban Decay Electric Palette because it freaking rocks. I'm doing my brows with this here. Uh, I also have a brow tutorial video on my YouTube channel if you want to check that out after this video. Um, it's not done with these specific colors in that video, but uh, I like to change up my brows. So here we are doing purple, and let's get crazy. Ooh, yes, moving on to fringe for my brows. This color comes out a lot more blue than it looks in the palette, which is one of the things I don't like about this palette. But uh, I'm drawing on my tail here of my eyebrow in this color that looks nothing like it does in the palette. Excuse it. It uh, sucks in that regard. But it goes on really nicely, and it's, it's quite a fun color. I love to merge these two colors, and you can do any color you want. If you have brown hair, put some freaking turquoise eyebrows on that bitch. Why not? Brushing these suckers out a little bit so the colors blend perfectly. Now I'm going back in with my MAC Studio Fix Concealer. This concealer is actually a little bit lighter than the one I use for my face. The reason is because I'm using it as somewhat of a highlight under my brow too. So I'm just going in with this and really cleaning up the edges and making them super sharp and super awesome so you can have some badass brow game. What? 
Now I'm using my white NYX eyeshadow base to put on my eyelids so I can make sure that this color is very, very vibrant. Oop, that's too much. Whoops. I'm now taking Plur Pigment Color Empath and putting it all over my lid. Setting this on top of the white NYX eyeshadow base is really going to make this pop and just make the white super white. Sometimes white pigment doesn't work as well as you want it to. This combo is absolutely perfect. It is super bright as you can see and uh, I'm loving it. I'm putting a little bit in the corner here as well. I'm getting my brush wet now and I'm going to take Gratitude Pigment by Plur, tap it off, and I'm going to put some of this in my inner corner here. And uh, you can also use Argon Oil for this to intensify the color or you can also use eye drops. It works perfectly. Now I'm taking some scotch tape and I am putting this uh, right here on the outer edge of my eye. This is so that uh, you can create a really, really crisp line when you are blending your shadows and uh, kind of makes like a shadow cat eye, if you will. How you're going to place this is you're just going to imagine that your bottom lash line continues up and you're going to place it there and try and make them as even as possible. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush and Euphoria Mineral Eyeshadow by Plur and just kind of putting this all the way from my crease and upward and just blending it out as I go. And I'm just building up the color here and uh, taking it all the way outward, all the way inward as well and just keeping it very, very blended. This is a pretty light color, so it's somewhat easy to blend, but just uh, making sure that there aren't any rough lines or edges. Now I'm taking a smaller brush in the color Virtue by Plur and adding this just in my crease. And I want it to be somewhat brighter than this, so I am going to wet my brush in a moment here. And then I'm going to reapply that to the crease just to reinforce the color and keep it very dense, poppy, and just freaking awesome. Now taking an even smaller brush, I'm going back with that previous light pink color Euphoria and just blending this completely out. And now I'm taking a fluffier brush and just blending the entire thing out, making sure that there are no harsh lines. Going back to the same exact awesome color that I put on my lids, I am taking this Empath color by Plur and applying this under my brows with a tiny, tiny little flat brush. But uh, I'm not sure where it came from, sorry folks. And it's cheese time. Yes! My fiancé brought this to me. Yum! It's freaking cheese time! I'm just reinforcing the color on my lid here because, you know, I got a little crazy with the uh, pink blending and, um, you know, it happens to the best of us. So just uh, making sure that line's exactly how I want it. One of the most rewarding times of any makeup look. Pulling the tape off! Ugh! There goes one, one down, one to go. Oh, here we go. Now this is pulling my foundation off a bit, so I'm gonna go back in with my pressed powder and add a little bit more back on there where it uh, looks like I peeled my skin off. Thanks. That's right, it's time for some mother effing glitter. This is Too Faced Shadow Insurance or Glitter Insurance. Uh, I like to use it for glitter, so just applying this about one third of my eyelid inner corner and I'm gonna be using a tissue here to make sure that there's no fallout. This is an awesome white glitter by Plur. I'm just tapping it on here and uh, making sure there's not too much fallout. And without this tissue, you're gonna look like you went to the strip club, so make sure you have a tissue. And what happened here? That's pretty disgusting. What the hell is that? I'm pretty sure that is my um, glitter insurance stuff. Let me wipe that off here. That's not a good look. This is not that kind of video, people. Ugh. I'm taking my Black Track Gel Liner by MAC and this little tiny no-name brush and I am doing a winged liner here, starting from the outside, going upward to the point that I want it to go out to, then dragging it inwards. I'm gonna be keeping this line very thin because I'm keeping this look very light and kind of ethereal all around. So just start small and build up as you go. You can always add more, but it is kind of a bitch to take it off. So just be sparing with this stuff. Going back in with the darker pink color by Plur, I am putting this on my lower lash line and you can blend this color down as far as you'd like. It just depends all in a preference, pulling it all the way into the corner rim of my eye, meeting it up with the color there. I'm taking my small liner brush and going with my black track and adding these little vertical lines here. 
these are kind of like my way of making my eyelashes look like they're longer and it looks ridiculous right now but as soon as I put some mascara on these lower lashes this trick really works you're gonna see how how uh, my bottom lashes really pop out I'm taking this white gel liner by Pleur. It comes with a super handy dandy brush. I'm adding this to my waterline. This white color here is just really going to open up my eyes and make them look even larger than they are. And with the vertical lines that I've put there uh, to create the effect of very long lower lashes, I'm just going to give myself a doll-like look with this liner added here. This is one of my favorite tricks. Moving right along, I'm going in with my They're Real by Benefit Mascara and just adding this on the top and lower lashes. Super fun. Next are these lashes, creme. I got these from some random wholesale store downtown LA. Um, if you type that in Google, you might be able to find these if you really like the way that they look, but they're just kind of long, um, whimsical little lashes that uh, looked good for this look. So I'm going to go ahead and use these. Oh, and I'm taking my super busted Jubilee bronzer by Pleur and adding this in the hollows of my cheeks with a pretty large blush brush. I want this to be very like diffused and kind of just go in there as a natural um, shadow. This one is like not super shimmery, so it's actually perfect for this. And I'm also going to add a little bit to my jawline and a little bit to my forehead as well on the outer edges just to kind of make it look a little smaller. I'm using that same brush, uh, cleaned off of course, and taking Matahari Blush by NARS and adding this to the apples of my cheeks and pulling it all the way up towards my hairline. Uh, by the way, NARS is cruelty free, so that is definitely awesome to know. Yes. Going in with some highlighter, which is like my favorite part. Uh, this is a foundation brush from Crown Brushes, and this highlighter is actually a random highlighter from Turkey, so good luck finding that one. I'm adding it to the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, a little on my chin, and a little on my cupid's bow, and a little bit just above my brows. I am now blotting off my lip balm so I can get some lipstick on my lips. I am going to be going in with my foundation and my beauty blender. I'm having some difficulty getting it out of there. <laughs> Probably cussing. Oh, finally got it. Adding this to my lips, this ensures that the lipstick stays on very well and does not bleed up into any creases that you might have. I'm also going to be going in with my pressed powder after this and setting it. That is just like the cherry on top of an absolutely perfect lip and making sure that it does not bleed. I'm using Delilac, that sounds like some kind of a name, from Lime Crime and putting this all over my lips and then blending it together. Making this a little less lilac-y, adding Coquette by Lime Crime as well, just a tiny bit. Now I'm lining my lips with Hoochie by Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. This is a multi-use liner, so it's super awesome. Um, I am going through with a thin line and basically outlining my lips to get the basic shape that I want and then I'm going to go through and thicken that line up so I have some kind of uh, color to pull from to blend this with the lilac and I really like to overdraw my lips so don't judge, okay? I got small lips and I want them to be bigger. Now I'm going to be going in with a small brush and kind of just blending this color into the lilac. Nothing too crazy, just lightly stippling it downwards into the rest of the color. Now I'm going in with that lighter concealer color that I use for cleaning up my brows and I'm cleaning up my lipstick. This is going to clean up any edges that I got a little crazy on and I'm also using the lighter color because when you use this on the edge of your lipstick, not only does it make it super crisp and perfect, it also makes your lips look a little bit larger, highlighting the outside and we all know that my goal is to make my lips look larger so this works out perfectly. Looking good. Oh, shiny things. I'm so easily distracted. I got this light up gummy bear from Palm Springs. Awesome. This is a white lip tar by Obsessive Compulsive and it gets a little oily looking in there. Don't worry about it. Just shake it up and it will work. I'm just adding a little bit of this on the center of my lips just to add a little bit of extra flair. Oh, blotting off my fabulous lips to show you the kissable lip look. This is a super sexy look. What, what do you think? We're finished? Hot. For the kissable lip, I'm going in with my go-to nude lip by MAC. It's called Myth. I'm on the lookout for a new one that is cruelty-free, so let me know if you know of one. 
And I'm going in with this lip liner that I got from Sally's. It's literally a $2 lip liner. I absolutely love this stuff. I'm not sure if it's cruelty free. I'm going to have to check on that one. But uh, it's a great color for a nude lip. Ta-da! This is the finished makeup look for the second kissable lip look. Now we're moving on to the outfit. Let's do it. For this look, I decided to go a little bit girly, so I wanted to add a lot of pink in there to match the makeup. Um, I got this dress from Iron Fist. I don't think that they have it anymore, but it has some funky, cute little bunnies that have like bok choy ears. I don't know. It's got a little mesh back, which you can see through and see my back piece, so I really love that. And I added a cute little white belt to match. And as some of you know, I absolutely love Ross, so I got these shoes there for six dollars yep six dollars this is the end of the road the video is almost finished thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day and spending it with me and watching my video i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe and don't forget to have it a freaking amazing valentine's day i will be thinking about you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye i suck at intros today